Hello and welcome to the video on constructing a stem and leaf plot. Okay, so let's start off with when we would use these graphs. So the first thing you have to think of is what type of variable are we dealing with? And we're dealing with quantitative variables. Okay? We're dealing with quantitative variables. Quantitative data sets. And also um, we want to use these for like medium size. Okay, benefits of a stem and leaf plot. The biggest benefit is it preserves your data. It preserves the data. Okay, this is 24. These are, okay, so here I'm going to show you an example um, of this. So data set is heartbeats of 24 women at a health clinic. So the unit would be heart beats per minute. Okay. So what I did was I put this data in my calculator already. So it's already in there if you go to my list. And um, I just want to say something if you like a little trick to do this. But I'll kind of show you once I get started. But the first thing I want to do is show you a histogram and this, just to show you kind of how it works. So remember, we go do uh, second y equals, look at your plot one, enter. You should have watched this video already. Make sure the histogram is um, picked in L1. I'm just going to show you something that, that's called a window level. If I start, see, I want to start at 55. That's my low, my lowest one's 56, so I'm going to start at 55. And I want to go to 90 because my highest one's 88. And I want to go up by fives. And what that means to go up by fives is this. Okay, so if this is my histogram and I start at 55, if I set this X scale at five, then that means this will be 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. And 90. Okay, so I know you're probably sitting there wondering why am I doing a histogram when I'm going to be doing stem and leaf, but I'm going to show you the difference of the two. Okay, okay, so I'm here, minimum, maximum. I want to go up every five. These two don't really matter, it's just how I'm going to look at it. The x, the x scale doesn't matter. So remember to graph, you want to go zoom and then hit the number nine. And Something went wrong. So let me pause and figure it out and I'll be back. Okay, and I figured it out. <clears throat> I have the minimum of 55, the max on 90, the x go at, fit, at 5. That means I'm going to go up every 5. Now the problem here is I was um, hitting zoom 9, and when I hit zoom 9, it reset these windows. It reset these windows and it's giving me a normal graph and not what we have now, or a symmetric graph. So we haven't even talked about the shape. So, um, so basically, once you reset your window, just hit graph, and that's what I want. So from 50 to 55, 55 to 60. Sorry, from 55 to 60, I had one. That would have been that one, and then the rest are four. There's four in there. There's four in there. There's four in there. There's four in there. From 80 to 85, you can see. Um, there's more I think yeah, there's uh, There's 480 so one two three four eighties and there's two eighty fours Okay Okay, I believe there's two eighty four so this should go up to I believe this is either five or six We'll look at it when I look at the data and this goes back down to one because 88 falls in there Okay, so this with the histogram <clears throat> this is heart Heartbeats per minute. Okay, so now I want to do a stem and leaf plot. So when I initially put in the data, I want to show you a trick. I initially put in the data just like this. So I put in 56, 80, 88. <clears throat> so when you do a stem and leaf graph, you're going to want to have a line that goes 
a vertical line. You could do it horizontal too, but I prefer doing it vertical. I do it vertical, just like this. Okay? And then these are going to be your stems, and these are going to be your leaves. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to start at the smallest one. That's what, what I did with this. Is, is this what I did? I hit stat and see where it says sort A? That's gonna start that's gonna put this from the, the smallest to the largest. And put whatever list. So I put in L1. It says done. So when I go back to my list, it changes and it's now fifty six. And then this helps me. So what I want to do is, the book does a little different. The book starts with the, t the highest and goes to the lowest. But I don't do it that way. I start from the lowest and go to the highest. Okay. So what's the lowest number on here? Would be 56. So I put the stem would be the 5. Okay. And the 6 would be the leaf. Okay. So leaf are the 1s and the stems are the 10s. Okay, so then I look for any other 50s and there's not any 50s. So the next number is a 60. So the stem's going to go up by uh, by 10s here. So after 56, I got 60. Okay, and you want to make sure you line your, your leaves up perfectly. So I have a 60. So this represents a 60. And then, um, so I could key it. So if I key it, you understand it. So 5 slash 6 is 56 beats per minute. So this is 60. And then what I do is I just put a 4 right here. See it? 64. How many 64s? 1, 2, 3. So I go 1, 2, 3. So there's three 64s there. Now I go to um, 68. And I put that there. 68. So there might be five right here. Okay, no, that wouldn't be five. It would go here. Okay, that's these are from 65 to 70. So there's 60. So in this bin is 60, 64, 64, 64. It's been so far, it's 68. So now let's go to the next one. There's a 68. How many 68s are there? One, two, three, four. There's four sixty-eights. And they split the stems, which I have to teach you about splitting the stems. I'll explain what this means. I'm going to do this all the way out. I'm going to do it two different ways. So you can see the two different ways you could do it. So there's sixty-eight, eight. 8 and 8. Y'all see that? Now I have 7. I have a 72 there. How many 72's do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm making sure that I match all these up because you could get shape from this. This preserves shape. 72 and I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 76's. Now I go to 80. I got 4 80's. One, two, three, four. Make sure I line these up. There's an 84. Two 84s. Two 84s. And an 88. Okay, let me clean that up a little bit. So that would be, that would be the graph. But there's a little problem, meaning that they're two kind of they're two kind of lo they're, they're long. So we do this thing called splitting the stems. So all the splitting the stem it's very basic. Splitting the stem all that means is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another I'm going to make another stem for sixes, sevens, and eights. Okay, and watch it's very simple. It's the same exact idea. Okay, so I start at 56. I'll do this real fast so you guys can be done. I start at 56. Now look what I'm going to do. My next data point is 60. 64, 64, 64. Okay, so from 0 to 4, I'm going to do one. Now from 5 to 9, I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to create another 6. 
okay you see that and now the eights are going to go here now I go to sevens so so I'm going to split it right here I'm going to split it right here so zero to four is for one stem and five through nine is for the second stem okay Okay, so seven is going to be a two, 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 and I'm making sure I put these twos right under these eights. There's going to be another uh, seven, seven, six, 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 six. That means I have four seventy-six, four seventy-twos, four sixty-eights, three sixty-fours, one sixty, and one fifty-six. Eight. So I have zero, 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 four, four. And then here I have eight, eight. Okay, and this key goes to both of them. It means the same thing. So this is when I split the stems. This is I didn't split the stems, okay? Generally we split the stems if these things run too long. These these uh these lengthwise things run too long, okay? So so that's how you construct a stem and leaf plot. Remember it preserves the data. That's something you're going to have to remember and it's used for quantitative data sets. Okay? So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.